In Israel, the sound of the shofar appeals to its listeners to repent of their sins, uh, for Rosh Hashanah has commenced. What follows is the holiday called the Day of Atonement, or Yom Kippur. In Jewish tradition, this is the day when one's name is either inscribed or not in the Book of Life for another year. So uh, I wanted to ask you some questions, Gordon, because okay. you are a self-made Jewish scholar. Well, I'm no scholar. Uh, but the, you know a lot more I, than I, the I will average say this. The, Christian. The more I know about Judaism, Oh, the more I learn about Judaism, the less I know. It's a huge field. Well, it's and yeah, it's a fascinating one. I feel like and the more I really like. Yeah, the more I learn about Jewish culture, Jewish tradition, I honestly feel like I'm able to understand the culture of Jesus more because that's the culture he came from. So and we're grafted into that. Exactly. There's another thing I like to remind Christians: the longer I'm a Christian, the more Jewish I become. There we go. So what is the significance <laughs> of Rosh Hashanah and, and Yom Kippur? Well, uh, Rosh Hashanah down. is the head of the year. Okay. That's the start yeah. of the year. For Christians, it's the holiday we look forward to because there will be a sound of a trumpet, which is uh, a Greek way of saying shofar. Yeah. Uh, so there will be a sound of the shofar. So it, uh, in Judaism, it was the sound of the shofar at creation. It's a celebration of creation. Wow. Okay. Uh, so it's a celebration that the return of the Messiah mm -hmm. uh, for Christians, the second coming for uh, Jewish, the first. Uh, yeah. But it's the uh, wrapping up of things and establishing the kingdom of God yeah. here on earth. So do Jewish individuals, do they celebrate Rosh Hashanah as the new year instead of the typical like American January 1st On new their year? calendar, it's the, it's the okay. new year. Okay, got it. Um, January 1st is not, not their calendar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I forgot what year it is. It's like 57. 82, okay. I think, something See, like you that. You know more than me. Yeah. Well, what about, <laughs> what about Yom yeah. Kippur? Because that's, Rosh Hashanah was this week. It was Monday. Mm -hmm. I think it was Monday. So well, Yom Kippur is, is this upcoming week. So what what is the connection? It started Monday night and then ended Wednesday. Okay. Night. What is the connection between the two? Is there a connection? Uh, it, it's the beginning of the High Holy Days. Okay. And a return to me. Um, so it's a calling uh, the nation of Israel together to first celebrate. May you be signed and sealed mm -hmm. for a good year. Shana Tova. Mm -hmm. May you be signed and sealed for a new year. Yeah. Then it's preparation of your heart for the most mm -hmm. sacred day on the Jewish calendar, which is Yom Kippur, yeah. which is the day of repentance. Um, I encourage Christians to really get into uh, what are both the prayers and the rituals, yeah. uh, the behaviors of the Jewish people during these times, because what it is, and the Bible is quite clear, is a type and shadow of both the Messianic age, which as Christians we believe we're in right now, mm -hmm. as well as the age to come. Uh, there is a great bit of wisdom and understanding you can get about what Jesus accomplished because he has, he has become our atonement. Mm -hmm. He, he yeah. melds together Yom Kippur and Passover in himself. Yeah. And so how does he do that? What are the Psalms that are sung? What are the mm -hmm. prayers that are set, said? Yeah. I think the, the, in particular, the Vidui prayer, which is the prayer of repentance on Yom Kippur. It's a very long prayer. But they beat their yeah, chest. They beat their chest. It's from my heart mm. that these things have come. And it, it's the evil inclination that is within all of us that leads to the manifestation of sin in our life where we miss the mark. And it's acknowledging and not excusing, mm -hmm. but acknowledging where the source is, yeah. what I have done. And when you go through that long list, uh, anyone who's looking to be right with God and you're saying, well, I, I have unconfessed sin in my life. You, yeah. you pray that prayer. You go through that with an honest inventory. Wow. Um, you'll come out the other side going, okay. <laughs> uh, Thankful yeah, for Jesus. Yeah, well, thank yeah. God. At the same time, uh, I was just reading Colossians this morning, and uh, I've got to add a caveat because there are, uh, you know, within Christianity groups that say you must observe. Yeah, that, I think and, that's And the question. Apostle Paul is, is no. Mm. Uh, let no one judge you on festivals or Sabbaths. That's in Colossians. 
Uh, and any time I, I get too deep into it because you, you can, oh, I, I need to be doing these things, I like to go afterwards and say, okay, it's time for me to read Galatians again. <laughs> Uh, yeah. You know, uh, oh foolish Galatians, mm -hmm. who has bewitched you? Mm -hmm. you know, it's it's these things are you know ways that um, we can we can try to perfect ourselves. Mm. And I, I've really had to wrestle. No, it, it, it doesn't come that way. Yeah. It's it's not through those things. I, I'm not encouraging, and the Apostle Paul would uh, would add, don't say, well, let's sin abound so grace can abound. Don't do that. Uh, live with a free conscience, mm -hmm. uh, a clear conscience. If, if we regard iniquity in our heart, God will not hear us. Um, but it's, it's, let us stand fast in the freedom that Christ has made us free. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's interesting that, I mean, Paul was the writer of Colossians, and he was a very devout Jewish messianic. He was a Pharisee. Yeah, so for him to say, hey, it's okay, you don't have to observe, I mean, that's that's pretty powerful. Well, so. it's it's the message of the cross. Yeah. It's the message of Jesus. It's the, it's the gospel. It's the good news. God himself has become our salvation. Mm -hmm. uh, what a wonderful thing. Uh, and in that, if we love him, let us obey his commandments. Yeah. Uh, so that is... The word, I guess. <laughs> Amen. Hello, I'm Gordon Robertson. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more encouraging videos like this one. Welcome to the 700 Club Interactive Family, and God bless you.